Hey Collective and welcome back to the channel, it's Al. Today's video is going to be dedicated towards the divine universe and what that means to us. And so for a very long time, we as a society, the collective itself, has really, really been sheltered into believing that we are alone and that we are a planet that does not really have a really big... Um, spiritual center anymore that we're a little bit more savage at times than we really are and that the universe is vacant of any type of other life form and so forth and so as we move through these shifts and shakeups that are going on with the planet right now and with society as a whole and the tests that are pretty you know, darn severe if you ask me um, as we go through this understand that the divine universe is going to present itself in different ways and a lot of it effect is affecting uh, by people and so what I mean by that is with the divine universe, one of the things that we thought is that there was a singular force that, that control all things, which is still, to my opinion, true. Obviously, I believe in the great architect, what you all believe in is called God or Allah or whatnot. But the thing that we're moving beyond is that we have to take ownership of that energy. And so as we move in towards a collective venture, we are finding the divine universe presenting itself slowly more and more. There are shows that are now a little bit that used to be controversial are now becoming more mainstream because the collective is awakened to the fact that the illusion of what we thought was true is falling quicker and quicker each day. And so as we face these tests about our morality, our integrity, and who we truly are <clears throat> in the world, we have to understand that the divine universe is using that opportunity that the corrupted or the hypocritical or the, you know, the deceivers are, are trying to uh, pass as a narrative. They are using that opportunity to allow the, the public to become more and more aware that things just aren't adding up. So as the divine universe presents itself to you, the question that we are now facing is how does that affect us as spiritual beings, as people who belong to the holy houses, or how that affects people who are atheists, or how that affects people who are into into the occult or, or uh, esoteric theosophy. All of that is shifting. So the one thing that we all have to come together on is understanding that as the divine universe comes forward and starts to introduce us to a better system, an Aquarian age type of mentality, one of the things that we're going to be challenged with is understanding that not all the pieces are in place just yet, but that if you're on this vibration, that you are affected by what's happening. And what I mean by that is some of us have very specific tasks from this particular vibration as people start to become more increasingly aware and as the divine brings more people into the fold, you're going to find that there is uh, political leaders that are coming out of this vibration that may not know that they're political leaders. You're going to find people that are going to be entertainers that are taking uh, a new position in the world or that you are senators or that you are somehow related to uh, diplomacy or things like that to change and affect the vibration of our planet and you have earned it. And so one of the things that will happen to lead this all in is though it appears you are at a stalemate and it feel, feels like the world is stuck understand that you are moving the person that you are now is nowhere near the person you were like even four months ago so as you evolve people are now going to start to pay attention to you and the divine universe wants me to remind you that that means you act with gratitude and grace at all times a lot of you have asked for things where you affect society in a way that's uplifting and that you have a power within you, something that motivates your day-to-day -day operations that is truly worthwhile for the world. And for a long time, you have felt as though you were overlooked or that you could never catch a break and all of this stuff, never knowing that you were being led to this transitional phase where you would then become known and where you would have to cross this bridge right here. So as these portals, if you will, that's what they call it as the portals open you're going to find yourself now suddenly being more observed than you were before now first and foremost anyone who's part of this vibration understands that in the divine universe you are never alone whether you are in the holy houses you believe that you are observed by archangels or angels or if you are in esoteric theosophy you understand that you're observed by the, the watchers essentially but mainly masters and elders if you are in the occult it's the watchers um, and gaia and so forth so you understand that you've always been with your ancestors or some sort of spirit guides and so now as that becomes more prevalent to society 
you're now going to get a new wave of, of onlookers, which are going to be more of the negative energies. But they're something that you should already be aware of because they've been challenging this vibration for quite a minute here, right? Because they knew that this was coming and so they're doing a money grab and the corruptive thing and they're trying to take as many people down the wrong path as they can. But those of you who are on this vibration, at this on this path, you understand that you've already been challenged by them so they know who you are. The challenge for you all is to remind yourself that you are divine universe being, that the divine has personally picked you to do great things for the world. And so this is just like, cleanup on aisle five like you're just like putting out small little fires and you're doing your thing in order to be fully in place have all the windows closed to your building so that when you step forward anything that they throw at you kind of slides right off right but the thing that you're not aware of is as you make this transition the same people well you might be at this point the same people who were naysayers or the same people who made fun of you or the same people who you wanted to work with now suddenly want to work with you and slowly but surely what i'm supposed to remind you is that the divine has a plan and part of it may be that some of those people will be awakened to who you are and they will know who you are that's a big one so for those of you at this vibration the caution here is remember that you are always graceful and you always act in gratitude and you have integrity, honor, and respect for society. The way that you interact and deal with these challenges as they come up is a test to who you are becoming and it will remind you that though you think you are a stalemate, you absolutely are not. You are moving quicker and quicker. Those of you who aren't paying attention to the world dynamic at the moment because of the fear of tactics and all of the narrative that's going on, remember that there are a, a lot of earthquakes going on around the Ring of Fire. There's a lot of storms and a lot more damaging um, environmental factors affecting us and it's almost a distraction from that topic so understand you are moving as quickly as the world is changing the stage is being reset i'll call it the stage but i i mean that's because of more an, an entertainment mindset right now but it is the stage is being reset and the actors the key actors are being put in places now so as you venture down this road the challenges that you're going to have now are detours <clears throat> and the thing to remember about detours is that you're still going to the same destination, but there's a reason that you have to do a pit stop. Either you got to pee, or you got to get something to drink, or eat, or go to the bathroom, whatever it is. Um, understand that it always has a point. So anyone at this vibration, if you find yourself suddenly having to move, or suddenly finding a job that you need to have because you have to pay the bills, but you are okay up until, the, like whatever the little ventures are, take it as not a negative, but take it as a last minute thing that you need to acquire in each experience. And then find that as like the gold that you're looking for. Because what's happening is that though you see, you see yourself as being overlooked or this uh, same old, same old, what you don't realize is that your viewership, for those of you who are in the public, has grown exponentially in very important people's eyes. They're just not making uh, any comments to you. They're observing you, kind of like an animal in a cage. Um, and they're just observing to see how you operate and what you do with no's or what you do with a little bit of changes or what you do with a little bit of adversity. So be aware that though you think that no one is watching you, the same energies that you knew were watching you now have company. And so understand that instead of focusing your attention on the negative energy that you might get because those are tedious guys you you, are, you work with the divine you work with god allah you work with source the great architect none of these people should affect you to any degree and the thing to remember is anything that comes up now anything that's like a threat or anything that's like challenging to you is getting you ready to step in your full power think of it in terms of this the example that they gave me was imagine a ceo or not ceo imagine a senator that cheats on his wife on a regular basis becomes senator and expects that that's never going to come to the light of day uh, yeah. Uh, it's going to come to the light of day. So, for those of you at this vibration, not that you would ever do anything that's, that's, that, that's that off chart, but if things start to pop up, it's showing you that these are things that you need to take care of ahead of the curve. You need to be aware that these things need to come down before the public becomes involved and then you become ineffective to the plan. So, the same people who were naysayers or whatever are suddenly going to be kind of at your, your tit, if you will. And so understand that one of the tests that we'll be having is that you have to understand that some people you have to close those chapters with. Or you have to 
start all over again with that person. It depends on your karma and all of that stuff, and I'm not the karma queen. Um, but I'm going to say that it is a test in and of itself. Sometimes the best thing you can do is forgive somebody for past hurts because it allows you to release the karmic tie to that person 100%. You're not doing it for them. You're doing it for you. But also at the same time, there might be some challenges where people who are dressed as kings are actually knights. And so your discernment is going to be key because what you're asking for is to work with kings and emperors. And so if you can't discern from your own past, who are the playa playas and who are the whatever whatevers, then how are you going to rise in the, and stay in place for what the divine is handing you? So understand that you are now suddenly exposed, if you will, because the divine is showing key people who you are and how you act, what you do, how you operate, what is your task. And when that happens, you're going to get a lot more attention from those people. So be advised that the environment is changing. So if you find yourself in a new set of situations, moving or, or feeling like you are being observed, but it's not threatening and you're feeling like something's just a little weird, or you suddenly find yourself with people around your vicinity, very aware of who you are and where you used to walk down the street and nobody ever paid attention to you now suddenly everybody is observing you don't panic that's a good sign it means that the divine universe is saying to you okay how do you act throughout your day how do you carry yourself throughout the day what is what is your motivation are you kind kindness and humility is beyond measure here i want you guys to really listen to me if you are asking to be part of the new that's unfolding Understand that the new is built on humility, honesty, integrity, kindness, and love. So those are the five key points that you're going to have to carry yourself with. Now, you can be a rebel and you can be hard-headed because we are, you know, people and human beings tend to be a little bit combative sometimes. But understand that in the new world, you are working towards a spiritually centered world. Though we do need to defend ourselves in fight or flight scenarios if need be, some of the tests are just tests. They're not meant for you to fight. It's meant for you to rise above it. So as a leader, understand that your challenge sometimes is going to be understanding, like I did the other day, that though the girl came at me and basically attacked me, she wanted my coke and I just let go of the coke it wasn't a big deal but under primitive more primitive aspects of ourselves that would have been a moment where like my roommates were like i would have beat the bitch down and blah 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 blah. that's fine but that's not okay with you that's not okay for where you're going so understand that the divine thinks of you very highly and so you have to be willing to kind of navigate this new course that you're going on and so though you might see it as a detour or a stalemate or actually working backwards there's something that you need to learn in whatever this current experience is before they hand you the golden ticket having said that temperance Temperance in the divine universe is beyond important. I'm just going to keep using the word beyond right now because it's beyond measure where we're going and how things are going to turn quickly for everybody. Remember, once the first domino falls, it will go, and I mean, literally, it'll be one of those domino effects where everything will come down at once. And so the best thing to remember is that temperance is a balance agent. It is the ability to balance severity and, and I forgot the other thing, but you're balancing two energies. And so the more that you're able to carry yourself in an empowered state, in your truth and honesty then you're going to do much better and things will move more quickly but not every player is in place yet and though we may go oh, oh and all that stuff remember that you're being observed for that reaction don't react to it just go okay well how can I can how can I improve my skill set? Um, like I have this really great gift at bringing CEOs and janitors together. I don't care who the fuck you are, president or a, a dictator or whatever it is. I can talk to you, and we're going to be great. So what I'm doing right now has that in its in its layer, and so it's just bone. It's like an extra little thing like what do you call it when you go and get extra credit it's just extra credit so look at the world right now it's extra credit if you know you're a chosen cho chosen <laughs> if you know that you're chosen or that you're anointed or that you are um the ones or neos or whatever you want to call yourself i gotta move my leg because i feel like sleeping now i'm side saddling hello i'm such a fucking dude okay so <laughs> when you um 
get these things, understand that if you are chosen or if you're somehow a special being that the divine universe thinks has the skill set to pull off whatever your venture is that affects the whole and raises the vibration of the planet, know that you might need to take an extra little class here and there and that it's an elective. And so when you take electives, it's like brownie points. And so just go with it on that vibration and just see what you can do with it. They're not saying that you're doing anything wrong. It's not like summer school or anything like that. It's just an added bonus to see if you're truly ready for what you want because a lot of us think that it's going to be handed to us let me tell you something it's not you're going to have to work your ass off this little reset you should have been using it as a time of meditative practice of studies and getting yourself comfortable with the fact that you weren't doing anything and what do we do we complained and bitched and moaned about how nothing was moving and that we're not doing what we need to do. and so we missed the opportunity to have the rest period well you have a couple of days and then it's go time and so understand that once you go it's not going to be just a free-for-all. You're going to have to work at it, and you're going to have to keep it up, and you're going to have to work your ass off nonstop. But the benefit is, at this vibration, it's what you wanted to do. So it stops being work. It's something fun, and it's something that you are effectively creating that helps the divine universe expand love, kindness, integrity, and equality. And so all of those things are really worthwhile. So understand that when we were sitting there and we thought that we were at the reset and the world was ending, we were actually getting carte blanche to take a break and do what I did. I went to the beach a lot and I walked around and because I know that once this goes, once the p play, uh, pieces, or the players if you will, are in place and they're ready because, you know, like we kicked and screamed and bitched and moaned our, along our journey so other people are doing the same thing and a lot of people are having very dramatic tower moments where a lot of what they thought was true is totally not true and a lot of what they've in, uh, put their time and energy ooh, truth a lot of what they put their time and energy is suddenly becoming very, very aware that it was built on lies or deception and stuff like that. And we're watching divorces and all of this stuff play out. And though I don't get into people's personal lives, understand that that's what's going to happen when you build things on, on hypocrisy or corruption and so forth. So <clears throat> understand that, that they're going through, especially the divine masculines, are going through a massive wake up. And it's not always the easiest thing to understand that what you've been investing your time in is built in the lie or you feel like you've been petty or you realize that you've been really been materialistic though you thought you were spiritual but your bottom line was more important than what the divine was. Like there's all this stuff going on in the back, right? And so understand especially if you are a very powerful being that is part of the new emergence leadership that you are the path forward but that the people that you are typically partnered with or that you're working with are people who are also coming through a massive reset Sorry, and so when you go through stuff like that just remember that kindness and and love and joy is going to be something that we each really need to have for each other and so instead of being like oh this person is taking forever rise above it and just realize that that's not what's happening okay so, as the Divine Universe presents itself to the collective for you first waivers, not only will you be more exposed to the fact that they will understand that you are a key player in something that they just don't yet understand, understand also that the collective is going to be increasingly more agitated because the deception and lies becomes that more, more clear and things that happen with this and all of this stuff and all, like there's just a bunch going on in the lower vibrational part but if you are a leader here you deal with that aspect you deal with awakening people by being yourself and living in your authenticity so if you can't live in your authenticity then how are you going to be effective right so understand that they are going to be a little bit more combative at times not necessarily with you but you're going to observe it with uh, with them with each other remember the key here is if you are part of the divine universe the divine has been training you if you will a mentor it could have been jesus it could have been buddha it could have been any number of energies could have been working with you and only you know who that is for yourself you don't need to share that with the world but i'm just telling you you were being trained in order to administer and help uh, bring spiritual sovereignty back to our world in a place of spiritual poverty. So as you step forward, you're going to understand that though you may not be lower vibrational, the people that you're raising up are still in a, a state of struggle. They're just awakening. They have been dormant and asleep and thought that everything was hunky-dory and they think that the world is going back to the way it was and it's not. And so compassion empathy is where you need to put your head and understand that though you want to be with high vibrational and live in high vibrational communities not one of us has the ability just yet or hasn't put any real effort that i can see as of the moment to build the villages that we need to be 
free or to have businesses and a network that shows businesses are not going to make their employees have we haven't gotten there yet no one stepped up to that other than me and i'm in and i'm doing the best i can and so are we so understand instead of putting pressure on each other you are to work with each other but you still have to administer as part of the divine universe love compassion empathy integrity and, and humility into the people that you're leading you wanted the dream you wanted to have a really impactful role in our world that really changes the vibration of humanity and so now you're going to have to go through the, the test of it also i don't know who this is to because I, I i was like they don't know this yet but <laughs> and i was trying not to be judgy but i was like how what so okay when you work with the divine universe and in the simulation, whatever you call it, life, simulation, you know, comedy of errors, whatever you want to call it, um, the stage production, you wanted to, to be effective and you wanted to not only raise your own vibration, but you wanted to raise the vibration of the planet. And one of the shell shocks that is happening, I guess, amongst us is that that means that you have to actually navigate within the 3D experience, even though you are having a 5D life. Okay. That is part of the challenge. Remember, the timelines are colliding. So we're, we used to be all 3D materialistic and so forth. Our, the power of our words is also helping transmute the energy. So be cautious of how you speak because your energy is quite different than other people's. And so as these people awaken, understand that since you're in the 5D and it's colliding with the 3D, you're not just going to be taken off the map and go up like in a spaceship or something like that. You still have to do the work. So that's the part where we're having a disconnect at the moment is we're really, really powerful spiritual healers and spiritual leaders and star seeds or whatever you guys call yourselves. You're coming to a point where you almost hesitant to have to deal with the people that you wanted to, to lead. <laughs> and the divine's kind of going, what the fuck are these people doing? And so I'm just supposed to gently remind you that you ask for the dream, and the dream is not only to self-serve, but to serve humanity. And humanity right now is in struggle. So instead of castigating each other and throwing stones and worrying about what other people practice and what they do, understand that your task is to unite our planet not divide it and so you need to step into an effective role in that way so this little program that we're all going through right now as the last pieces get in place and their towers come colliding and that you know they're you're going to find people that now defend you that you don't know where that came from but what you don't realize is that they are already aware of you like i said the the 3d reality may be showing you that you're not reaching people or that your understanding is that people are not paying attention to you and the divine's really cautioning me to remind you that you are never not watched what they present in the 3d may be a test to see if you will keep going remember we're in the desert and so as we lead our people through the desert the illusion and the whatever you call it the mirages are that you are there but you're not there and how do you react to that or you think that no one's with you and you're 100 percent alone and then you realize that there's been people following you this entire time they just weren't supposed to say anything because you need to test, uh, stand up to the test. So understand that the illusion of what you're seeing is not matching what's happening behind the scenes. Okay? So that means, though, that you need to be more aware of the fact that what you're saying, especially because I got a little bit of trouble with social media. I don't know what. They won't tell me. But I must have said something to piss somebody off. Not the net, the, like the, the other stuff about the this stuff and all that stuff. They're fine with that. But it, it was someone within the high vibrational community that I apparently pissed off by saying something and I took ownership for it but they won't tell me what it is and they said that me and this person have to work it out and so I said alright so we I don't know if that's ever going to happen because I don't know what it's about but understand that with a public persona or with a powerful uh, placement in the divine universe understand that you also have to sometimes eat grow because you may have said something stupid remember you are on social media many of you or you are uh, going to be in public figure uh, status of some kind or you're going to marry a public figure person whatever the dynamic is i mean i'm not all that nosy but understand that you're going to have to sometimes be very cautious of how you phrase things that's why we're being cautioned against the pettiness here's what happens when we get petty and they gave me a perfect example when i was younger there was this thing where people used to look at me and try to uh, pick at me because i was cold i was a very distant uh, person i was one of those high evolved cancers but it was out of def uh, defense i kept my cell up and i but i would be very nasty i had i mean cancers have claws we 
snap a little neck, you know? And so I had to overcome that. But one of the things was that people, the higher vibration uh, universe would prod me and they would antagonize me because they were the only ones who knew my big pet peeves and it would happen over and over again. I would never share it. And so I realized that I was having to grow. So when you get petty, you're actually not growing. You're allowing someone else to trigger you. And so that's what they mean by trigger. So where we used to just be triggered by people saying stupid shit and, and that we would be like, okay, we can't say stupid shit, but we do need to address the issue. That's not being petty. But the moment that you say, you stupid motherfucker, then you've gone down, <laughs> right? And so we have to find better ways of saying things is what I'm saying. So when you guys are interacting with each other, understand that there's still, for whatever reason, I don't understand this myself, but the divine is just saying, go with it. There's still pettiness and competitiveness within our community. And so the divine is now going to have to, and I'm going to tell you what he said, I'm going to have to start making choices based on how they're acting with this bullshit. There's not any one better person than another person on this freaking planet. You could have money or you could be poor. The poor person is probably just as important as the rich person. Or you could be a narcissistic asshole and then suddenly for some reason with divine spiritual guidance from something higher, you become the most philanthropic giving person in the world. It's been said to happen. Now, instead of us saying, oh, that will never happen, why don't we start being high vibrational and saying, well, actually, it could happen because we work in a divine universe and what we thought was true is not true. So, okay, so maybe these people can evolve. We did, and I was, I was a hoe. So, you see what I'm saying? So, understand that all of that is relevant right now. And so, with the competitiveness, the divine is getting to a point, and I think some of us at the higher vibrations, where we're just going to walk away from people who are engaging it. No one is better than anyone else. No one has any better skill sets than anyone else. If anything, they've just been able to tap into something that you can't because of the fact that you're being petty and competitive. So let it go, guys. Like, if you are going to be that, then you become ineffective leadership and the divine can't use you. So this is where I'm just going to supposed to remind you. <laughs> Either get with the show or get off the show. That's what I'm supposed to tell you. So... As it affects the, the, the globe, if you will, as the universe makes itself known and we become more aware of artificial intelligence and we become more aware of, of the simulation and of the matrix itself or we become more aware of advanced races that are observing us and so forth, the thing to remember is that people that were asleep will suddenly become very awakened very quickly in a very shocking way and they're going to be like, oh my god, and like, the sky is falling and you and I are supposed to just go, yes, but if you stand this way, Way, you won't get hit by the falling sky or if you go to the forward and two steps to the left you're going to be fine your centered energy is where we need to focus that they, yes they're going to be awakened and yes the earth is going to shake rattle and roll and there's going to be earthquakes and volcanoes and all of that stuff your task is to uplift them and carry them forward through the desert. So understand that this little section that we're in right now, where we're going into the second phase, if you will, from where the divine universe actually shows its hand, where God steps in and goes, oh, you think that you're going to enslave a race, huh? Okay. Here, <laughs> you know, you need to be in place and you need to understand that you are moving, that you are being effective. You may be challenged right now, but it's little petty stuff, little, not petty, little small things that you need to just buck up and just get, get in place. So as this all happens, remember guys, you are a unified part of the divine. You are to work with each other and you're supposed to let this petty competitiveness go or you're going to be moved out, period because people around us are having issues and it's because we're leading them in ways that may be the wrong direction. So guys, just raise your vibration, move forward in this and have a wonderful weekend.